Right, I seem to have spent the whole day faffing about on the computer. Now it's now 11 o'clock at night turned and I'm determined I'm going to do some constructive painting. So I've got my oils out. I'm in an oily sort of mood. Got a little old palette which I've had for years. And I've got SAA paints, oil paints, titanium white, lemon yellow, yellow ochre, terra verde, um, French ultramarine, alizarin, burnt umber and Payne's grey. And no idea what I'm going to paint, but I'm going to have some fun. I'm just absolutely fed up to the back teeth of not doing anything creative, so I'm going to have a faff about and uh, see where I get. First of all, I'm going to put some oil on the board. This is um, just a piece of MDF. Um, which I have covered in sort of linen y sort of thing and I've PVA'd it. Not very well by the looks of it because the oil seems to be going in in places, but I don't care at the moment. It'll all get covered, it'll all get. It will turn out to be something quite nice in the end. While I've got an oily brush, We'll get some titanium white. I'm going to do a sky because it's definitely going to be a landscape. Don't know what else it's going to be, but it's going to be a landscape. Probably let my heart take over and go and do some mountains, stuff like that. That can go over there. Make yourself a big brush and different medium. I just realised I haven't got out any turps or white spirit to clean my brushes with. So if I disappear, that's where I've gone. So there we go. I'm getting a very thin layer on here. Um, basically, just a background so that I can paint into it. This isn't the best sort of oil technique and if I put this one up you'll have to forgive me for breaking all the rules. But this is basically me being selfish and having some fun. Painting in oils is something I tend to do just for myself. Added to which I've got a new course which I'm starting in on Friday that I'm delivering to people on uh, oil painting. So, Good excuse to get my hand in. 
Now, I've got that white. Mix in some of this very, very powerful ultramarine. But because I'm painting it into the white, it's not coming out too strongly. See, there is method in my madness. Or should I say there's madness in my method? I'm not really sure. But there we go. We're getting some sky stuff on there. I just have to grey that down a bit. We never get blue skies like that in Snowdonia. Well, we do. But they're few and far between. I'll put some cloudy stuff in. Graying it all up. Use the big brush. Covering the paper. You see, it's very tatty down that side, but once that's in, it's all covered up with um, PVA and acrylic and stuff like that. If I hadn't been quite so desperate to get started, I would have given the whole thing another coat of uh, acrylic undercoat, but uh, I really want to get going, so I'll do it as it is. Rain into that cloud, make a little bit of angry cloudy things. Blue in the sky. Through these mountain tops, 
pretty much as there is outside. I'm here in my little attic and the roof is bouncing about all over the place above my head. I don't mind, I'm snug and warm, I've got my paints and a cup of coffee. Who cares? Told you I was being selfish tonight. Just something that I want to do. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Right. thing about oil is that at least my brushes aren't going to dry out overnight and now I'm going to move on to doing some work in or rather with palette knives like palette knives, they're very immediate. This one isn't very naughty, doesn't clean that one properly before I put it away. So there we go. Um, what am I going to do? I think I'll have a big ridge of mountains coming down there, disappearing into the background, and something else across there. We end up with a valley in the middle. Right, let's see how it goes. Mixing up a sort of grey mess. Touch purple, touch of blue, Yellow, not yellow, white. There's going to be an awful lot of white in this picture. And it's a bigger. And 
just mixing up a big puddle. Tad of Payne's Grey, tiny amount of alizarin just to warm it up a bit. Being a bit quiet because I'm just relaxing into the painting. Had a bit of a rough day today, so this is a nice bit of relaxation. Get me in the mood for sleeping eventually. You paint him with a knife. A lot of it is all about the roll that you get. You pick up your paint, and you get, can you see that? A little roll of paint on the back. And you use that to make a line, and then you pull it away. As sick or as thin as you want to. Make it really nice. And I have one less bit here to disappear into the clouds. White and blue. And that 
might even be snow up on the tops. Or blue in it because it'll be very shadowy. Here, I think I will make a snowy sort of mountain tops. I'm not really thinking about this, I'm just letting the paint go where it wants to. Well, I suppose I am thinking about it, but not particularly conscious. That I'm thinking about the shape. I want that bold shape coming down there. I know I want things fading away in the middle. I think I'll have shaly bit. Very often when you get the mountains you get these rough rocky outcrops. Then you get shaly bit. front of that you get the sparse moss and grass and stuff growing up there. Well, I don't want this to be too realistic, it's sort of semi-abstract. People make of it what they will. don't want this particularly well mixed. I've got lots of different colours into there. And uh, I'm going to get some texture into it by just dabbing it on rather than smoothing it out. Because I want this to be that sort of 
shaley texture that you get when bits of mountain fall apart. Even though I'm not putting any detail in, I'm trying to get the impression that there's light coming from over there somewhere. Put some snowy stuff. We've had snow here today. It didn't last long. I still wouldn't be surprised to find a white coat on everything when I uh, wake up in the morning.
mixing some Terravert, however you say it, from Welsh, not French, with raw sienna, with yellow ochre, tiny amount of blue, and then the sort of dead grass effect, low the rocks. I want this to Not really thinking, I'm just not really speaking. Don't want to make too much noise actually. My wife's gone to bed, everybody else is in bed. And like I said, I'm being completely selfish, just doing this for myself. But I don't mind sharing it if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm wasting my time talking at all. Because it would just be covered up by something else. But I'm not displeased with it at the moment. I'm starting to get something like I wanted it to. When I start painting things like this, I wish it was 40 years ago, even 20 years ago. I could still get up to places like this. You know, COPD and arthritis don't really seem to let you do stuff like that.
<coughs> Pardon me. A sip of coffee. Let's see how we're doing. Hmm, getting somewhere. Bits of darker green.
just putting some really dark darks and high contrast stuff in here. I don't use black. What I'm using is French ultramarine and burnt umber with a touch of Payne's grey in, which makes a nice lively black. Also, playing around with a lizard in the mix as well, just so that we've got a good range of colours in it. Because if you put pure black, then you will end up with dead areas, unless you're very clever. Well, not very clever, unless you've learned how to mix colours with black in and use them. Now this bit's furthest forward, so I'm putting some alizarin in the mix. Again, very, very dark, and I'll put other stuff on top of it. <coughs> Pardon me, but the idea is to bring this bit a lot further forward. doing a lot of the mixing on the canvas here I'm taking stuff off and sort of half mixing it and then letting it blend together with itself and with other colors once it gets on the canvas <coughs> there's quite a bit of the um, actual canvas showing through and I don't mind that it gives the rocks texture and it's all primed it's all gonna last forever really dark colour. Slap it in there. Put some more of the dark coming through. Along there. And we'll try and put a little tiny bits of white. Uh, the snow is still lingering. Do it. A lot 
so not too white. Teeny weeny bit of blue. Just to get that really far distant peak in. I'm putting these lines in to try to give the impression that it's sliding away. That's a pinky orangey colour. on here, bring it forward a bit more. Darks down here. Right down there, I need something very, very dark. Red in it as well to bring it forward. There's too much of a gap there. I need something darker. Dark. Bluey, greeny colour, I think, there. to change there. A smaller one. It's not a very good one. Oh.
right. Now I'm going to do that. Three it might be. But I'm still going to do it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got a little brush here. Yes, I have. That'll do. Now. Some oil and a clean bit of board. Some of the yellow.
finish it off, put some interest in the sky, which I put in with so much oil before it's dry already. that'll do. I'm going to spoil it if I do much more. So, there we go. Don't know what I'll call it. Top of the world, Ma. Yeah, why not? Okay, thanks very much for joining me for that one, and we'll see how it comes out on the video. Okay, night-night. Thanks for watching.